What is up, everybody? I'm, of course, the one and only, the Joker of Yu-Gi-Oh! Representing the Legion, coming at you guys with an OCG deck profile? I know, I know, I'm coming at you guys with my OCG Trickstar deck profile. Now, I know I've said in the past that I would never talk about OCG stuff. I don't really want to. I don't want to be bringing you guys OCG stuff, of course, because I'm a TCG exclusive player. However, Something is coming this weekend at my local game trader Salisbury that broke my rule. Now this might be, you know, this is the few times that this rule is going to be broken. When there is a tournament coming, that's right guys, a tournament, world championship tournament at my local game trader Salisbury. I'm fortunate to be able to go. I'm extremely excited. The only thing is we have to follow the world ban list, which is of course the OCG ban list. So that's why I thought, why not bring you guys the deck profile of what I'm going to be playing, give you guys, you know, time to comment on it, see if you like it, if you've got any tips, comment it down below. But guys, this is the deck I'm going to be playing at my tournament. I really hope you guys do like it, and without further ado, let's just jump right into it, shall we? Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> Let the good times roll! <laughs> okay, so here we go, guys. This, of course, once again, is the OCG build, so you are going to be seeing a lot of differences. If you want to see my pure TCG build on this, there'll be a link to that in the description down below. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it, shall we? So the first thing, of course, is Triple Candina. It's your Searcher. Triple Lycoris. It's your Burner M+, plus an easy special summon, and that one Lily Bell for that direct attack. It recycles back your Lycoris or your Candina, 9 out of 10, I go Lycoris, and just gives you the easy summons once again, which is absolutely fun as hell. Then, of course, I'm running the Triple Drawl and Lock once again. You know, this card has not been hit in the OCG, which is really fun, but this card is absolutely insane. This card be can be played in any, you know, deck these days. Go keys, they rely on doing a lot of draw power, searching and adding. You've got Sky Strikers, you've got Mirror Matches, it's just absolutely insane. You can just draw them, and it's really fun. Then of course I'm running the Double Ash, because you can only play two Ash in the OCG. I know that is so sad, but unfortunately, you know, two Ash still works really well in this deck. Double Eater of Millions. I'm questioning myself sometimes, I still question, like, should I run three, should I take out the other card that's a spell card which I'll get to later and run the three or should I play the two and so far two has been saving me enough already but the three is absolutely fun still. Then of course I'm running the one performance trick clown and the one gem knight garnet because I'm playing the brilliant engine in this deck. You know when I built the wacky Wednesday trickstar brilliant engine nightmare deck profile that was just absolutely ridiculous. I found the Brilliant Engine was really helpful, so I've decided to put it in this deck, especially because it's the OCG build, and I don't have the money for all those Sky Strikers, so it still helps me out regardless. Then of course for the spells I'm running, Triple Light Stage, it's your searcher once again for your monsters, Triple Chain Summoning, additional summoning is just really fun in this deck, Brilliant Engine and this just gives you the pluses. Double Scapegoat, because of course OCG, they only allow to. But 2 still works really, really well. Triple Mind Control, just to take your opponent's stuff. It's absolutely fun and absolutely insane. I love the fact that they did not hit this card in the OCG. Triple Brilliant Fusion. Of course, I got this off my good mate, the Bane of Yu-Gi-Oh! I just had to say it my way instead of how he says his. But, you know, thanks to him, I was able to get these cards, which is absolutely really insane and really fun. Then, of course, I'm running Double Power Desires for the draw power, and then for my one-offs, the one Monster Reborn, the one Terraforming, because OCG only allows one Terraforming, the one Regeki, and the one Dark Hole. Now, if I was to switch anything right now in this deck, it would be taking out the Dark Hole for a third Eater of Millions. But at the moment, this build is working really, really well for me. And keep in mind, this is only going to be for, like, the OCG World Championship Tournament. After this, I'm going back to the TCG version, unless, you know, I decide that this works a lot better. But regardless, I'm going to be putting in the Reincarnations at 3 again. I'll be putting in the Terraformings at 3, you know. Unless, you know, our TCG ban list gets exactly the same as them, then I'll go back to playing this deck. You know, it's just the way it's going to be going. But moving on with the traps, we're going to be playing one reincarnation because regardless, even though it's at one, you still got to be playing it. And then for the board wipe, that triple torrental tribute because destroying your opponent's stuff, absolutely fun. There was actually a few times I've been testing this deck. 
I had three sets, so regardless, whenever they summoned, I just popped it. And I always actually had Lily Bell in my hand, and I was just recycling it back in. But then, moving on from that, like, that's just the main deck there. We've got the extra deck, and for the extra deck, we're running one Gem Knight Seraph, because Brilliant Engine, of course. The one Lynx, sorry, the two Lynx Spiders. Of course, this is pretty much just for your scapegoats. All that is really fun. The one Underclock Taker, because it powers down one of your opponent's monsters, plus it's an easy summon. The one Hipstar, I don't know how to pronounce the new name, they changed the name. I really wish of all the cards they kept the name with the OCGs, this is one of them, especially with the next cards, you know, a few of these names I wish they kept the same, but you know, this card's easy to bring out because you play a lot of lights, of course, it's the Trickstar deck. Then of course the one Mrs. Radiant for your Link Spiders, and then the cards I wish they also didn't change the name for, the Nightmares, because originally this was called Troy Mares, but we've got one Nightmare Phoenix, one Cerberus, one Goblin, and one Unicorn. I don't recommend playing Griffin, the reason being is because I don't actually bring out Griffin at all. Even when I was playtesting this deck, I borrowed my mate's Griffin, which of course was the Bone of Yu-Gi-Oh! Seriously, I can't do a, how he does it, it's very weird. But, I even borrowed it at one point, just to mess around while we were playing around with the whole Trickstar Brilliant Nightmare deck I was messing around, and still, I never brought out the Griffin to actually use it, so that's why I only play the four. Phoenix, destroy back row, Cerberus, destroy one of their special summons, Goblin gives you a special, an additional summon, which is great because if you've got Chain Summoning, Goblin, and also Brilliant Fusion, so you get a lot of summons, and then of course Unicorn to return something you don't want to deal with. Moving on from that, we've of course got the one Holy Angel, because easy summon again, one Topologic, Trispay, you know, whatever you want to call it, I call it Trispay, because you know, if you're going up against Paleos and all that, it's really, really fun. One Borlo Dragon, nice powerhouse, one Saruja, and that final Phantom Knight of the Break Sword. That's it for my extra deck, guys. It's pretty generic of how I like to play it these days now, because Scapegoat, you're just going for the Link Spiders. The moment you go into the whole Nightmare cards, it's just absolutely insane, which is what I love doing. And then for the last bit, we of course have the side deck. Now for my side deck, keep in mind OCG guys, this has changed quite a bit. I mean, like, it's changed three cards, but you know, to me it's still... It's weird when I have to change so much. But of course, we're still running the one Unending Nightmare. It destroys one of their spells or traps, it's great against Imperial Order. You know, all those cards you don't want to deal with. Double Anti-Spell Fragrance. Once again, it, Unending Nightmare is also good against this card. You know, if you've got this and you've got Unending Nightmare, they have to set the spells, you get to destroy whatever you want. And if you, for example, have all the spells in your hand, you don't want to set them and you want to activate them, just destroy your own thing, it's perfectly fine. Then, of course, we're running the Triple Called by the Grave. As I was saying, the Triple Called by the Grave, once again... You know, this card I absolutely love playing against heavy hand trap decks because it works so well against them. And a new addition is actually Triple Forbidden Chalice. Now, I decided to put this card in, especially with the OCG build. You know, with my TCG, um, I'm running two of these cards now. Like, if you want to see an updated TCG, it's like only five cards that have really changed. My Disturbance Strategies are now my Torrentals, and my Dimensional Barrier is now my Forbidden Chalice. I've added a Soyuja and taken out Proxy. Like, that's it. That That is... My dramatic change with my TCG build. But of course, there'll be a link to that one in the description down below. But Forbidden Chalice just works really well against so many different decks. You know, it's a quick play. It's, you know, I prefer this way more than an Effect Veiler because it can be used during your turn or your opponent's turn. It's not as good as Infinite Opponents, but you know, it's the budget version of it regardless. Then of course, we're playing Double Twin Twisters, destroy that annoying back row you don't want to deal with. Double Prohibition, call the cards you don't want to deal with, and the last card, of course, is Double Honest. But guys, that is my Trickstar OCG Brilliant Deck Profile. Comment down below what you guys think, and I'll just, you know, the basic combo, of course, is the Brilliant Engine. So, if you guys haven't already seen that, just comment down below, I'm happy to explain it to you guys. But I wanted to make this deck profile as quick as I possibly could for you guys, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, comment down below that you have, and of course, as always, I want you guys to comment down below what you guys want to see next. If it be a deck profile again, if it be dual videos, or if you're just pumped to see me play at my first World Championship tournament, 
you know, just stick around for that, guys, and make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you stay up to date. But of course, guys, that's it for me, the Joker of Yu-Gi-Oh! representing the Legion, signing off.